Hey, good Sam, it's Pastor Jed. On Sunday, we gathered together to remember Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. It was so great being together, watching the kids waving the palm branches, singing Hosanna, worshiping God. It was great to remember Jesus' upside-down kingdom. His disciples, the crowds were waiting for a king to ride into Jerusalem on a stallion, on a steed, with symbols of authority and power. But Jesus goes into Jerusalem on a donkey, on a colt. He is riding in with humility. He's reminding us that if we are to follow him, he's asking us to be like him, to embrace righteousness, to live into salvation, to be humble. On Sunday, we looked at the owner of the donkey. I'm sure at the beginning of that parade, the owner of the donkey had no idea what was going to happen. He had no idea what he was giving Jesus, and he had no idea that 2,000 years later, we would still be remembering his generous gift to Jesus. We're reminded that Jesus continues to ask us to give him things that he needs to advance his kingdom, and that when we give generously, that God uses these gifts to do just that. Ultimately, it's not about the gift. It's about the heart of the giver. What I love is that people are talking about what we read in scripture. I've heard several people say, and I need to give Jesus this, and I guess that's my donkey, or I'm going to give Jesus that. I guess that's my donkey. And so my question is, what's your donkey? What is Jesus asking you to give? It could be your time. It could be your prayers. It could be your trust. It could be a financial gift. What is your donkey? On Sunday, I reminded you that Palm Sunday is not the end of the story. Actually, it's the beginning of Holy Week. On Thursday, we are gathering together as a church family to be reminded that Jesus took his disciples and he gathered them in the upper room, that he took a towel and he took a basin, he washed their feet, he modeled servant leadership, and then he served them communion. As a church, we are going to gather around the table and we are going to remember Jesus. After remembering Jesus around the table, we are going to make our way to the cross. We are going to be reminded that each one of us is sinners. Each one of us has expressed words or deeds or attitudes that contradict God's best. That's why Jesus died for us. That's why Jesus went to the cross. And so Thursday, we're going to write our sins on the piece of paper. We're going to walk up to the cross and we're going to nail our sins to that cross. Then we're going to be reminded of Jesus' last words. As the evening ends, the darkness will descend upon the room. We will hear Jesus' final words, and we will leave in silence, in darkness. It will be somber. And I think if we do this part of the story well, it gives us great joy as we gather again on Sunday to celebrate that Jesus has risen from the dead. And so I want to encourage you, I want to invite you to make sure to be here on Thursday. And then make sure to come on Sunday as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. I want to ask if you've taken your invitation piece home to invite a friend or a neighbor, someone who needs to hear the good news, because we are going to be celebrating like crazy that Jesus is alive, that love wins, that God loves. And so I'll see you on Thursday. Blessings.